I think a one o'clock post would be ideal. You have afternoon racing, your weather, um, uh, mind you, in the winter time, it's a little tough, but this time of year, it would be great to race in the afternoon. You have your evenings free, and uh, I think it's good for the horses too. Like, um, they're racing in good weather. You see some fast times. Everybody's happy and joyful and still wide awake, and it'd just be great. Like, I see places in the States like Monticello races all afternoon, and their handles strong, their uh, products well-received, and just... Uh, there's so many in Pocono, uh, the Meadows, like so many places have afternoon racing and do quite well. I think it would be great to try it here. Four o'clock. Oh, I like afternoons, especially. I think they should race holidays. You know, it's nice to get home at a decent hour. Maybe a little bit earlier. I, I often wonder why people, especially at, when they have a lot of races, like at the jockey club and so on, the people are up at 12 o'clock at night. You know, you're going to lose a lot of the betters, but you got to wait till they get off of work, too, I guess. Maybe turn them, you know, run them off a little faster, maybe, you know. Every 15 minutes or so it would help. You know. Besides, I'm, uh, I'll am i be 90 in November, so I like to get to bed early, you know. It gets after 11 o'clock, it gets after my bedtime. <laughs> oh, it would be an afternoon for sure. Afternoon racing is awesome in the summertime. Well, I wouldn't like to change it. I like about 6.30 because some people like 1 o'clock. I don't think I get all my work done by 1 or 4. So uh, 6.30 is good for me and 7.30 is too late. Uh, I'd probably go to like 7.30. It's like on Sundays at 6.55, it's pretty good. But 7.30, I think there's a lot of people just still in their hustle and bustle life. Even like on the weekends, like on a Saturday at like a, like a 6.30 post time, I think... A lot of people are still doing things. Uh, I, I think like a 7.15, 7.30 post time would be would be good. But, I mean, I'm not complaining, but 6.30 and 6.55 post times during the weekend. We'll go pizza like everyone else. Uh, I get probably fried chicken. I love KFC and Mary Brown's and stuff like that. Like, oh, and uh, I got to give a shout out to the Water Down uh, local um, restaurant, Hello Iris. They make the best chicken sandwiches around, anywhere. Like, probably in Canada, really. They're, they're amazing. Uh, I love veal cutlets, but I, I, have, uh, I have Crohn's colitis, so red meat is really hard on my stomach. It's, it, it's terribly hard on it, but I love, I love veal cutlets. Definitely chocolate. Uh, I mean, you get rid of chocolate, you might as well get rid of meat. They say bread's not good for you, but I like uh, Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread, I just like that stuff. Oh, I like uh, pasta, unfortunately. Not good for your weight, but uh, it's pretty easy. You know, I'm very lucky. I can eat almost anything, as long as it's food. I like some better than others, but you can't come up with a food that I don't like or eat or drink, no matter. All in moderation. But uh, now I, I was brought up as a kid in Holland, and during the wars, and it was tough that we had to eat everything. And I'm lucky now. It, doesn't matter what kind of food it is. I like it all. So. I don't shows on my stone. But yeah. <laughs> wow, what a good question. How about uh, grape? My favorite flavor. Well, according to my wife, it would be something sour. <laughs> I think I'd probably be purple because I'm kind of a passionate guy and purple's color passionate and, and they're probably the sweetest too. And, you know, it would just kind of be soothing. Cherry, I guess. Or? Black jelly bean, black. Okay. Wherever the purple one is, I guess that's great. Yeah, let's go with that one. Green apple. <laughs> I love green apple. <laughs> you have a beautiful name. Are you ready to win your race? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Are you ready to win your race tonight? Perfect, thank you for your time. <laughs> so your nickname's Grumpy, but you look like the sweetest horse ever. What do you think? See, you're not that grumpy. What, what's your favorite kind of shoe? Ah, okay, okay, and apples or carrots, which one do you like more? <laughs> 